<coughs> Today we're going to be talking about the All Powers 140 watt solar panel. And this is a nifty little solar solar panel. It's really light, so you can actually carry it around. I guess that this one is light enough that I can actually take it hiking, strapping it on my backpack, or actually just carrying it in my hand. Uh, on the back, you got this pouch. In this pouch, or on the outside of the pouch, you can see all the specifications of the solar panel. This is something I really like about this model. I wish that more manufacturers would do this on their solar panels, and I wish all powers would do this on all their panels. Um, that's just a side note. You've got these Velcro legs. That is really e makes it really easy to uh, open up, and it's really easy to take down, and I will show you that in a bit. Uh, in this pouch you get different adapters and all your cables and uh, I'm gonna show you that right now, yeah. So let's zoom in. So this is the pouch, the storage pouch. As you can see it has some sort of protection to keep water out from the zipper and that's really good because it helps with the IP classification and still it's really easy to open up. And there's a lot of cables in here. The main cables are these ones. These are MC4 connectors, which is uh, the um, industrial standard for solar panel. And it's really good. They're waterproof uh, as well. You also have this one, which is an uh, adapter for MC4 to DC. And you have a couple of more adapters here for the DC. So you can connect uh, these to basically any power station out there. And they're really easy to use. You also have uh, this one, MC4 to Anderson connector, and uh, you have these one, MC4 to these, well, clamps. You can connect it to basically anything. I wouldn't connect it directly to your battery because the voltage of this might not be the same as the voltage of your battery. You have also an instruction manual, I haven't read it, might be the best reading ever. And uh, you have these ones. And you have some USB connection. You have USB-C and two uh, USB standard ports. These one are, this one and this one are DC outputs and inputs. So you can use this to connect multiple solar panels together, uh, which is an easy way of doing it. But well, I would still use MT4 connectors because I like those more and they're more stable. So you get a bunch of connectors, and these one, I don't know if I told you before, but these one aren't cheap. Uh, these one cost maybe 15 euros or dollars each to buy if you're going to buy them on Amazon. So it's a really good thing that you get them included in the price. And then it's just to zip it up, and you're done. So that was inside the pouch. Uh, all right. One of the things that I like most about the all powers foldable solar, the solar panels, and that goes for the 140 watts as well, is how easy it is to set up and how easy it is to take down and that you won't lose any part because it's all integrated. So I'm gonna show you how quick it is to set up and take down the solar panel. You got the Velcro legs in the back. And all you have to do is you begin with the first leg. You snap these open. Take the second leg, and the rest will follow. A little bit of adjustment, and there you go. And now all you have to do is connect it to uh, MPPT or power station, but uh, it, you're all set up. Taking this down, it's even easier. All you have to do is fold it back together, and you're done. And because you have everything in your pouch, the legs just stick. You don't have very, you don't have to worry about losing anything. This is just perfect, and we can go. So remember, this is in the middle of October, and the sun is really low. But we're getting 
as you can see we've got 92 watts there you go again uh, but i'm having a problem with the sun because i don't know if you can tell this but the sun is so low that the grass is actually casting a shadow on the solar panel i don't know if that affects it at all but uh, yeah the sun is really really low right now but we're still getting around 90 watts which is uh, for me that's really good on a cloudy day in the middle of October here in Sweden in the north of Europe. So yeah, good work. All right, so what do I think about the old powers uh, 140 watt solar panel? Well, as you could see, it was really easy to set up. It's really easy to set up. It's ridiculous how fast it is to both set up and take down. And as I show you, the price is really good and well, it's in the middle of October and it's actually producing the way it is. So uh, I'm really impressed about both the functionality and uh, how easy it is to set up. Uh, I love this pouch. I love the fact that it's water sealed or waterproof or water resistant. I don't know, but yeah, it's really, really, really good. And I like the fact that it comes with a lot of adapters. Adapters ain't cheap. If you're going to buy these uh, on, let's say, Amazon, you will probably have to pay $15 or 15 euros each. Uh, so it's a big saving that you can actually have them with you. And regardless of what solar panel or sorry, power station or battery bank you're using, you will always be able to, to connect this to it. That's really good. Uh, and as I said before, I love the fact you have this printed, all the specifications printed on the outside. Here I got another power station, uh, solar panel from All Powers, and it doesn't have a specification, and which means I have to Google it every time I'm using this for a new, in a new area, for a new MPPT or something. So that's really good. And overall, I'm very satisfied with this one. I think this will be my go-to solar panel when it comes to hiking. If I'm going to be using a, a lot of powerful stuff like a computer or on a laptop, this will be my go-to solar panel. And I guess that that's basically it. Uh, well, if you want to buy this, you can find the links below and I have a discount code of 15% so don't forget to use that and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and if you want to watch more videos please subscribe that will help me a lot in the future to be able to do more reviews and I hope you have a sunny day and a sunny future because without the sun solar panels won't really work that well even if you can tell today that it actually did work really good on a cloudy day well take care see you next time bye